what I want to talk about now is just the community aspect. And that's really what first drew me in to this type of partying. I was before I really connected with the music, I was in awe of the openness of the people. And when we talk about the sauce, we're talking about the crowd at the party. So for example, the venue is the bread, the DJ is the the meat or the vegan jackfruit, and the crowd, dare I say, we are the sauce. And it was at the garbage festival I was at with you, it was my second year, and it was when Stavros was playing, I could see the energy whirling up and just possessing people and it was love it was just straight up love and sure they were guiding us with the sound but ultimately it was us that was whirling up this energy and building it together and just everybody was welcome there and the sauce to me is arguably the most important part of a sandwich. <laughs> I, mean, I would say so. Depends, right? Like a great, a <clears throat> great fucking bun could compensate for a, a shitty sauce, right? Like what an incredible venue. And that gives you a particular experience, but it's that sauce that got you licking your fingers, baby. And I've been to parties where, the music wasn't that good. The venue was non-existent. But the sauce was incredible. You don't even need bread. I'll lick it with my fingers. So I, over the years, I've really come to appreciate the value that we have as attendees. Uh, oftentimes, we, we look up to the DJs and such with good reason, and I'm still looking up to them. But... I really want to bring awareness to people that, hey, at these parties, you're having an impact on me, and I'm having an impact on her. And guess what? We're all having an impact on each other. Isn't that beautiful? And this is why I am fascinated with the party scene, because to me, it's a microcosm of society as a whole, and it's more digestible Rather than, you know, 7 billion people, we got 7,000 people at this festival. And the level of engagement, uh, dare I call it data for my brain to upgrade its system, is unheard of. I mean, I will have more engagement at a meaningful level at 10 minutes at a party in the flow glow then I will at two months here in New Jersey. Like, it's not even close from, from my experience. So, there's so many things, so many benefits from the, the music scene for me. And in terms of the parties, which that word has such a connotation, but in terms of the parties, these gatherings, really the key component that comes to me now in this moment is the sauce. Mm -hmm. And that's you. Uh, that's everyone that plays a part in this. And I don't want anyone to feel pressure or necessarily a responsibility, but I do want you to know that you're a part and we're a part of creating this space together. And if we could be more intentional about that, I believe the impact of the experience can be even deeper um, our reception will be cleaner, meaning we'll need less help to tune in to the energy at that level. Mm -hmm. Look, man, I love some help, <laughs> but I'm working towards less help and starting to go on a little bit of a tangent. But do you have anything that comes up for you that you want to add to that? Um, so, yeah, this whole concept of, of the sauce and our our participation in it. Um, had never, it was never something I experienced in the first like 20 or so years of my life. And then I went to my first music festival, which was EDC in Las Vegas. And with some help, I was able to really feel this like 
deep level of like connected network of energy with these big crowds and, and how palpable that is and how there's something there. And at the time I had no fucking clue really what it was or how to describe it, but it was this feeling of like, wow, like being here with all these people in this very pure state, this feels really good. And I, I and it kind of made me want to lean into it more and see more of what was there. And gradually over time, you know, I started off as kind of, uh, looking at the sauce from the side in a way, but now it's become like so clear to me how important I am to that sauce, both in general as an individual who's part of the crowd, but also me personally and, and the growth that I've experienced through this sauciness and like my confidence and my just sense of self, my, my knowing and, and respecting who I am has has grown so immensely over the years as a result of, of parties, uh, so to speak. And, and it's because of what you said, like the experience that I'll have in two days at a festival is more than an entire year of my day-to-day -day life. And, and anybody who's been to Burning Man or any of these bigger festivals, I'm sure could kind of attest to that feeling of you go back and life just seems kind of shallow and you just want more out of it in a way. And, part of that is you want these like peak experiences. I want like these high moments, but more than that, or more importantly than that, it's a sense of like walking around and feeling like they're the people around you are like part of your human tribe rather than everybody's just, you know, nowadays more than ever in their own little bubble. And, and for me on a soul level, that doesn't feel good to like look around and see people disconnected from each other. And so the, 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 yeah, the progress I made in that world of, of sauce creation, it, it's just, it's just so meaningful and important. And, and I've really come to identify over time, how, how much of a light I can provide in that space. And at the beginning I was, I was terrified to get out on the dance floor and dance, especially if people might see me do it, uh, in a dark room with a big crowd, maybe, but over time, I, I started to see like, wow, when I get in there, when I share my energy and when I express myself and, and play like a little kid, people love it and people want to be around me and they want to interact with me and they want to express themselves in that way too, because it's, it's natural. And so, uh, at first this started happening to me and it was a very like ego validating experience. It's like, oh, wow, cool. These people like me. Am I cool? Like I'm I got good dance moves. Like a lot of that kind of stuff came up, um, which at the time I needed that boost in confidence. My ego may have needed that validation to kind of uh, get to the center point where I needed to be. But over time it became, it, it flipped the script because it got to a point where like I would go out to a party and so many people would want my attention that I, I couldn't handle it. And I, I couldn't be the light all the time for all the people. And not to say I, I have that power, but we do, we each do have that power to, to be the light for each other. And so it's funny how that evolved to a point where now I go out not to fill a void, not to find something, but to share my overflow of energy and self-love that I've been able to cultivate largely as a result of the experiences I've had through the, the electronic music world. Wow. <clears throat> All right. Lots to talk about here. <laughs> Always. Um, Always. Yeah, before diving into it, I want to land the plane that I took off earlier about uh, the sauce. And in this context, you're explaining to us how you're at a space now that you are confidently an ingredient in the sauce, an active ingredient. And in these parties, you feel good about the energy you're able to bring and share with people, correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. So the whole point I was trying to make before is that the parties are a microcosm of life and what's going on here. And it's easier to see in a party how, whoa, everybody's affecting each other and I can really bring some positivity. And wow, I really helped that woman loosen up. And now we're smiling and laughing, you know. It doesn't stop on the dance floor. Mm -hmm. This is everywhere. And this is the way that you interact with the waiter, the garbage man, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's, for me, it's created a playground and a university 
for me to go and learn, observe with all of these interactions we get and engagements and then bring that back to the streets so that when we leave Burning Man, it's less about, oh, no, I don't want to leave this freedom and more. We're free, baby. Let's share it. Let's shine that light that you shine on the dance floor. Bring that shit to Whole Foods, brother. Mm -hmm. Because grandma's over there ready to receive, you know, and you guys will have that moment. Yeah, and it's all about, like, integration is the key word there, right? And that gets talked about, that word, um, specifically with Burning Man. Oh, that happens, really.